So while digital transformation brings us all these wonderful things and all these wonderful products and services that we can access from anywhere, it also exposes us to data privacy issues, to our security issues. An example of that is connected cars. Your cars today are sending out this digital exhaust to car companies, to service providers, to Apple, to Google, to many other services. And some of them you have little to no control over. You might not even know how much data is being passed. So how do we deal with that? How do we make sure that we are protected? Will insurance companies get a hold of this data and then offer you insurance depending on your driving, depending on how safe you are? Your car records how often you brake. Your car records how quickly you make turns, at what speed, whether you went over the curb. How do we protect ourselves? Do we have control over that? The flip side is, should we shut off all of these data exhausts that are going out of your car? Probably not, because you paid a lot of money for that car to give you those services. And many of these services are designed to keep you safe. So I'll talk about how organizations, companies, car manufacturers can work with us and how you can work with them to make sure that you provide the data that you're comfortable with, data that helps you be more safe, gives you some of these luxury features. For example, as you slow down to stop at the traffic light, your radio volume goes down, so it's not annoying, so you're not bending down to change the volume of your radio or stereo system. These are good features, but they also are telling someone your behavior and when did you take your eyes off the road to change the volume of the, of the stereo that you were playing. So the question really is not whether you will share your data with car manufacturers or service providers or not. I think that ship has sailed. We will share data, we are sharing data, we will be sharing data, otherwise we won't invest in these expenses, expensive vehicles. The more relevant question now is, what's in it for me? How does it help me? And if it helps me, I'm more likely to share data with car manufacturers and service providers like Apple and others. We conducted some research to find out what will it take for people to share their data with service providers so that they can provide better services to them. And in the process, collect additional data to continue to improve these services and maybe even bring on new services that make us safe, that make our experience of driving a good one, a more luxurious one, um, an enjoyable one. How can the car be smart enough that it helps you in time of trouble when you make a mistake, it'll protect you. So our findings indicate that people are much more willing to share their data if they get something in return. And mind you, something in return doesn't always mean money. Although we have found evidence that people will share data for 50 euros, the study was done in Germany, for example, or sometimes free Wi-Fi at an airport, they'll be willing to share their data. But in this case, what we found was people are willing to share if they know that my data is gonna help save lives. We asked a question, would you be willing to share your data if it is used for a program that helps cars make safe, that will eventually save lives? We call it the Lifesaver program. And more people said yes, and they were willing to share even without any financial compensation. The second, thing that we found when they are willing to share data is when they know the party that is asking for the data. So they're much more likely to share with Apple if they have an iPhone, but not with an XYZ company that may be doing good work, but they just don't know who they are. They're also more likely to share data with the manufacturer of the brand that they have the car because they trust that manufacturer. That's why they bought the car. So there are a number of ways from monetary to legitimacy of the party that is asking for data, to altruistic reasons why people will be willing to share data. And this applies not just to cars, but to other devices that we use, broadly known as internet of things, 